Peluncuran ruang angkasa atau Space Launch adalah bagian awal dari penerbangan untuk mencapai ruang angkasa Seperti yang sudah kita ketahui, di zaman kita sekarang, eksplorasi ruang angkasa sudah bukan hal yang mustahil sob Karena dengan kemajuan teknologi yang sangat pesat dan didukung dengan alat-alat canggih, banyak diantara ilmuwan dari bangsa manusia sudah bisa melakukan perjalanan ke luar angkasa Untuk melakukan hal tersebut, biasanya mereka menggunakan sesuatu yang bias, yang bisa terbang yang biasa dinamakan roket. Tapi nggak semua peluncuran roket berakhir musop. Nggak jarang karena kesalahan perhitungan, peluncuran itu gagal bahkan sampai merebut nyawa para penumpangnya sob. Seperti yang akan kalian lihat di sini, inilah peluncuran roket yang gagal menurut mantan youtuber. Di sebelum masukin di videonya, jangan lupa subscribe, like. komen dan share sebanyak-banyaknya supaya channel kecil ini bisa semakin berkembang lah lut number 10 5 4 3 2 1 And we have lift off of Antari with the Gorp 3 mission to bring Cygnus on its third CRS mission to the ISS. Got main engines at 108%. Avionics power is nominal. Number nine. But during the takeoff, is looked squarely in the eye by the astronauts and the engineers behind Project Mercury. This booster was not a Mercury vehicle, but imagine the worst possible situation for the astronaut: that his capsule is now mounted on top of this atlas. The escape rocket takes the capsule away from the booster. Number eight. Nerf, wit, set, cease, sign, cat. Allumage. Bricolage. Paramètres propulsifs sont normaux et la trajectoire est normale. 37 seconds into the launch, the onboard computers decided 501 was 90 degrees off course. Number 7. Number six. The missile was launched successfully, and the flight proceeded according to plan for some distance. During this time, the missile was stable in pitch, yaw, and roll. Then a failure occurred involving one engine. 
And shortly thereafter, another engine also lost power. It was therefore necessary for the range safety officer to destroy the missile by remote control. Debris from the missile fell on the test base and in the sea just offshore from the base. Nearly all critical components were recovered. These parts and data radioed to the ground during flight were studied to isolate the exact cause of the trouble. Number five. One in five Titan rockets fail. Tough odds if you're a rocket man. Number four. Three, two, one. Ignition sequence start and lift off of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, adding to the International Space Station access for future American rockets. And Falcon has cleared the tower. Vehicles programming downrange. Stage one for colonization is active. Power to other ship nominal. Power to other ship remain nominal. Impact chill has begun. T plus two minutes. Altitude 32 kilometers. Speed one kilometer per second. Downrange distance 13 kilometers. Teddy coming back shows vehicle on course on track. Number three. Cape Canaveral for a maiden flight. It is to be boosted into space by an Atlas or a 15-minute flight, a flight scheduled to study the performance of the temperamental hydrogen fuel. The Centaur is designed to put a payload of more than a ton on the moon or a thousand pounds in the vicinity of Mars or Venus. The first few seconds of the shoot go without incident. The Centaur climbs to 30,000 feet, then malfunction. The immediate cause of the explosion is not known, but if it happened in the Atlas booster, it means a probable delay for the next U.S. orbital flight by astronaut Malcolm Carpenter. Long lens cameras capture pieces of the wrecked missile falling into the sea, falling like a wounded bird. However, in the race for space, scientists find progress in every failure. Number two. a common occurrence. In this case, there were no human casualties. The catastrophe was not the result of individual carelessness, but it could have been. In a situation with human lives at stake, disaster is a potential, and lives are at stake, even your life, wherever toxic propellants are handled. Number one. 